he started yelling at me and, and I swear I was like I was like poker total poker face not moving at all he stands up with a knife and he runs toward me and he's like and I swear I didn't move Skatey says Jeff uh, about his girlfriend uh, his ex she's been with him for two years seems mild about him and now lives in separate apartments should I go for a zero tolerance ultimatum on breakup with boyfriend immediately or later? How should I word such things? Ah, very interesting. Very interesting. <coughs> listen, 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 listen. Papa JF has suffered. You have no idea the kind of stuff I have been exposed to. Let me give you just a taste of it, of, of what I've seen in this dirty world. <clears throat> I have been imposing that kind of ultimatum. I have been with women who were somehow thinking that they could overlap their relationship with their ex and me while having sex with me. And believe me, I've been very strong on this. And I've told them, you don't do that. And they still did it. So my point is, you need to go very harsh on this. Now, it's going to be the question of how much am I willing to tolerate if she doesn't listen to my ultimatum. And to that I say, tolerate nothing. But let me tell you, the, the problem being, there were some extremely sexy woman extremely sexy woman that have done this to me and i was like mm, i get to have sex with a 10 out of 10 is that that much of a problem and i'm not talking about her sharing the woman with with her ex i'm talking about her somehow being emotionally attached to him enough that she would talk with him on the phone or you know, uh, ask, in, in fact, ask me to go talk to our ex to uh, get him out of his misery and his, his uh, tears, okay? So the ex is crying and he's, ah, he's making threats of harm, okay? And so I'm supposed to be the best guy to resolve this situation, Papa Jeff. Why don't you come see my ex and try to console him? And explain to him that uh, I'm with you now. Like, terrible ID. Terrible ID. You, do you realize how fucked up you need to be in the head to ju for, for just this idea of a psychological health session of that sort be organized? But this is what I've been faced with. And so at, at every point I was like, no. I do not talk to your ex. You do not talk to your ex. You do not uh, show empathy when he calls to do threats of self-harm because you are motivating him to do further of that. You do not talk with him. He forgets you and he moves on. But no. Of course, no. At some point, I'm found with my my current girlfriend not my current of today but back then my my girlfriend telling me uh no no you need to come see him he's very he's suffering a lot from me leaving him you need to come and resolve this of course i come what do i see the guy is not washing himself for days he's laying naked on the ground in his home crying and hitting on the floor oh, why why and i swear to god i i opened the door with my girlfriend and the guy is he, he, he's like underground and i swear he, he gives me this look this was hollywood style like suffering look he, he does this And the stinkiness of this, holy shit. A depressive guy who had just lost a 10 out of 10 girlfriend to a Chad French guy. 
holy shit I was like and now he starts threatening me you stole my girlfriend I was like the current status is that she's not your girlfriend she's my girlfriend now I'm here because she has insisted that I, that I would be here you calm down you you go over this she doesn't want you anymore so we're not going to constrain you to stay with you constrain her to stay with you so get cleaned stand up relax it's just a girl and now she's mine he started yelling at me and i swear i was like i was like poker total poker face not moving at all he stands up with a knife and he runs toward me and he's like and i swear i didn't move i was like this guy is not going to hit me with a knife so i stand with like the knife headed toward my head and i look at him in the eye without moving and i'm like is this done now you're not going to kill me right so we leave you go on with your life you lost your girlfriend my dude and so man <laughs> Eventually, the police gets involved, but I mean, by, by then I had left, but then my, my girlfriend was like, oh, we need to call the police. He's gonna, he's gonna kill himself. I was like, he's not gonna kill anyone. This guy doesn't even have the energy to stand, doesn't have the energy to stay seated on his couch. He is totally done. He doesn't have energy anymore. Anyways, just to, just to tell you, that if you let this kind of stuff happen, you are, you are in for emotional abuse and physical threats of all kind, which you don't want. I mean, depending on your level of desperation, in my case, she was a 10 out of 10, I swear. 19-year-old, perfect model type of woman. And so I was like, really taking a knife hit? That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be so dramatic, really. I, I could take it. Now, you don't want to do this because to be honest, I'm injured for life due to this. I've lost complete confidence in humanity. I've, I've experienced smells that I didn't even know existed. You don't want to get into this kind of stuff. And so, and my point is, I got into this stuff while saying at every point, ultimatum, you don't speak with your ex, okay? You're with me now, it's over. The fact that I could get to this level of threat to my life, just uh, while being very strong on my position, um, shows you that you need to be strong. So, don't forget that words are... Words <laughs> don't forget that words are just words, okay? We're cr creating a virtual space, so never forget that you saying, "All right, I'm no, I'm uh, look, I'm very, I'm a man of value." So, so here's how you phrase it to her: you say, "Look, I'm a man of value, and um." To me, it is one of the most excruciating thing that you can do to someone to uh, betray them and to make them believe that you're his girlfriend and, in fact, interact with another man. So, because of these personal preferences of mine, I cannot talk to you anymore. I cannot uh, interact with you as long as you have not left your boyfriend. Now, don't worry, I'm not putting pressure on you. I know that sometimes it can be, uh, you can be very attached to this guy, but if you want to move on to a serious relationship at some point, I'll be there. And if I'm available at that time, I'll be there for you. But until you do, uh, I, it's not even an ultimatum. You don't want to go with the ultimatum. You just tell her, there is no way I can even talk to you on the phone 10 minutes because to me it would be a betrayal of him. And I think that for your own mental health, and that's what you, 
you say to her, you cannot be playing people around like this. You cannot be developing stories in parallel without revealing to everyone involved. And so I don't want to get involved in this. And in fact, it's not good for you. So what I'm going to tell you is go with, just resolve this story. It can take an hour or it can take a year. In any case, I will always be there for you. And I think you're a valuable woman that you deserve much more than this guy. But I cannot take the value of you and treat you like it doesn't matter, your state of monogamy and your state of honesty with the people around you. So <clears throat> I'm sorry that I have to do this, but I will not speak a word to you anymore. I will not reply to your messages, text and stuff. I will, I will talk on the phone only if you want to tell me that you left him and then we can build something serious together. Pooh. You think she, you think she's gonna, you think she's gonna take a year to drop him? I mean, if she does, so be it, but she's gonna, she's gonna take a week to think about it. She's gonna realize, okay, I'm really not into this other guy anymore and she's gonna drop him. And on top of it, you have just liberated yourself from any sort of work or effort or energy drainage because you've made it clear. You can call me anytime, but it has to be the day you left him. <laughs>